Jaden sighed heavily as he drove the last client to the airport. The man had not been on vacation in a long time. Due to foolishness and inexperience, Jaden found himself in debt. His ex-girlfriend loved expensive things and constantly asked him for gifts. Blinded by passion, he could not refuse her and got into a lot of debt trying to satisfy her desires. Eventually, she left him, taking all the expensive gifts with her and leaving Jaden only with the debts. Putting thoughts of his ex-girlfriend aside, Jaden decided to clean the car. Under the driver's seat, he found a crumpled note written in a child's handwriting. It said, Save me and my mum. He'll get rid of us. Jaden usually cleaned the car in the morning, so the note must have been left recently. He recalled the girl who had ridden with the tense man to the hospital earlier that day. During the ride, he caught her looking at him through the rearview mirror, as if she wanted to say something. When the man got out of the cab, he dragged the girl with him into the hospital. Uncertain of what to do, Jaden called the police, but they dismissed it as a joke. Jaden also believed it was just a prank, but deep down, he wondered if the girl was really in danger. He couldn't shake off the feeling of doubt and drove to the address where he had picked up the girl and the man. The house was old and located by a forest lake, quite far from other houses. Jaden reached it quickly, parked the car nearby and walked up to the house. At first glance, it appeared that nobody was home. He had already decided to leave when he saw a faint light in the window. Jaden called out to the owners, but no one answered. All the windows had old rusty metal bars as if someone was being held there against their will. Jaden knocked, but there was no response. Suddenly, a woman's face appeared in the window with huge bruises under her eyes. She silently begged for help and tears streamed down her face. Jaden called the police again, reporting that a woman was being held against her will in the house. While waiting for the police, he tried to open the door himself, but it was locked. Jaden looked around for something heavy to break down the door and suddenly heard footsteps approaching. He turned around and narrowly avoided being hit by the man. The assailant was wet and Jaden realized he was lucky to have arrived when the man was taking a shower. A fight ensued, but soon they heard the police sirens that sounded in the near distance. Jaden was almost trembling with fear. It had been a long time since he had been in such trouble. The police had broken down the door and entered the house, where a frightened mother and daughter were sitting huddled in a corner. The woman's name was Marilyn. Seven months ago, her husband had died. His brother John wished to take control of all the deceased property by getting rid of his direct heirs. The man had come up with a terrible plan and had almost succeeded in carrying it out until Jaden intervened. On this particular day, Marilyn had to put her last signature on documents, transferring the business into John's hands. However, her daughter had been feeling unwell for a few days and Marilyn began to demand that John take the girl to a doctor. The man, who had long ago decided to get rid of them after signing all the documents, told Marilyn that he would let them go as soon as he got her signature. But Marilyn refused to sign until her daughter was examined by a doctor and John reluctantly agreed. While the man called a cab, Marilyn asked the daughter to run away as soon as she was at the doctor's office and ask for help. However, the little girl had her own plan. She hoped that she could give the doctor a note and that he would be sure to help her and her mother. With trembling hands, the little girl scribbled a plea for help on a slip of paper and put it in her pocket. At the doctor's office, she couldn't find the note in her pocket and realized she had lost it. She was afraid to tell the doctor about her uncle, who had threatened to get rid of her mother. Marilyn finished telling her story and Jaden volunteered to take them both to the hospital for medical examination. During the ride, Marilyn said that she had no energy to thank him now, but that she would definitely call him as soon as she came to her senses. The man gave her his card and smilingly said 
that she should not thank him at all, but if she happened to need a cab, he would be glad to give her a ride. At the hospital entrance, the girl rushed to the man, hugged him by the waist and cried. Jaden didn't know how to react, so he squatted down, gently hugged the girl back and whispered that everything would be fine and no one would hurt them any more. When he opened the notebook, the girl had been sketching in the car. He couldn't hold back the tears welling up in his eyes. The girl had drawn a heart and written thank you in her painfully familiar handwriting. Then there was an investigation and trial where Jaden was the main witness. During the investigation, it became clear that Marilyn's husband's death was not accidental, but set up by his brother. The man received a hefty prison sentence for the crime. One day, Jaden received a call from an unknown number. It was Marilyn. She informed him that she was doing well. She got her husband's business back and came to her senses. However, she still had a fear of going out alone, so she offered Jaden a job as her personal driver and security guard, with a good salary. Without hesitation, Jaden agreed, knowing that working with one person was better than driving different clients around all the time. Additionally, he felt responsible for Marilyn, although he could not explain why. Six months later, Jaden settled all his debts and began to breathe easy. Suddenly, his ex-girlfriend showed up at his doorstep. However, having learned from experience, Jaden sent her away, saying that he now had a family, which he considered to be Marilyn and her daughter. Even though he had no romantic relationship with Marilyn yet, who knows what the future holds.